Ever tried teaching rising sea levels to a student who's only interested in cars? <laughs> Trust me, I have. The answer to this is not more science. It's more cars. When a student doesn't get it, I don't just repeat myself. I switch gears and figure out what gets them curious. That's when real learning begins. Hi, I'm Ming Chen. I'm a science teacher. You need more alkali to neutralize the acid. So class, we have learned about our oceans becoming more acidic. And now, we are going to be seeing it for ourselves. How do we see it? We will now add indicator to the ice cubes, and then we will add the alkali slowly, drop by drop, until the ice cubes change colour. I want my students to walk away with knowledge and skills they can actually use beyond school. I get them to investigate, observe, record and measure. When they observe the changes, they question and thus they understand. This is what evidence-based inquiry learning looks like. Learning works best when it's creative and fun. And we don't do it alone. I run a program with colleagues across subjects such as the nutrition and food science teacher and geography teacher, to find ways to spark students' interest. We connect lessons to topics they already love and open their world to even more possibilities. Science will click when students see how it matters in real life. When we explore diabetes in class, I invite my colleague, an expert in nutrition, to talk about real food, not just carbs and sugar on a page. And I want students to learn about rocks and minerals. Okay, everyone. Today, we'll be learning about rocks. My geography teacher walks in with a bag full of them. It's way better than just staring at the periodic table. At the end of the day, these are not just fun ideas. They are part of an intentional design built to support how students learn because every one of them needs a lesson that makes sense to them and an experience that sticks with them. We believe that our students can learn. This is how we influence our students. Okay class, let's turn our notes to the page on carbohydrates.